Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Cool Eagle back here with another video. I just want to come talk to you guys because we know we just heard the bombshell news about Julio Jones going to the Tennessee Titans. Um, and the parameters of the deal involve a second round pick and a third round pick or fourth round pick next year, I believe. Um, and a lot of Eagles fans are probably wondering, well, why didn't Howie just, you know, do the same thing if all it took was a second and third round pick? Okay. Again, a lot of Eagles fans just don't be paying attention. They be getting hyped up in big names and, you know, media hype, you know, like, like, like getting hype over what the media tells them without understanding the context of everything. Because context means everything in the grand scheme of anything. Julio Jones said he wanted to go somewhere where he could win now. Now, although I do believe the Eagles are good enough to be the fourth, fifth, sixth, or maybe even the seventh seed, like the wild card round, I don't think we are good enough to for Julio Jones to believe that we are good enough to win now. No matter how much he loves Jalen Hurts, and I'm pretty sure a lot of like big name receivers would love to play with Jalen Hurts, you know, because they see his accolades in college. You know, they've seen how much of a like locker room personality is, a leader he is. Uh, well, he's going to be the the potential anyway. But you, but you can't act like that he's better than Ryan Tannehill. He's not better than Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill is a top ten quarterback in this league, and has been for a long time, ever since he was with the Miami Dolphins. But the only thing is, he can never just stay healthy. Um, and then Derrick Henry. Are we really going to compare a two-time rushing champion to Miles Sanders, like who made the Pro Bowl because like some other guy couldn't go because they were going to the playoffs? No, we're not going to do that. And then uh, that uh, other wide receiver they got, uh, Davis. What wide receiver on this team is proven, proven that they can have the IQ, the skill level? of A.J. Davis, you know, and excuse me if I'm botching his name, but nobody in the team has that. And the defense, you got Bud Dupree who's coming. Name one defensive player in our linebacking core, like specifically, that's better than Bud Dupree. Okay? Now, I will say this, though. Although the Titans have, got, have gotten better, they still didn't resol uh, solve um, – you know the problem in their secondary because if anybody has been watching football they know that the titans at the end of the season scrapped their whole secondary what are they going to do about that you know because last year um i don't know how you know uh like what uh, specific rank they were but the titans secondary wasn't that good and they had malcolm butler they had byard who was an all pro you know what i'm saying and uh, they had uh, like that uh, other guy who's now playing for the Giants, Adore Jackson, who we believe is probably better suited to be a number three corner than a number two. So um, I think we should like understand the context of these things. Context means everything. And then the fact that we can't afford his contract because of the mere fact of the, the 15 million that the uh, that the Titans are going to have to give Julio Jones, the Eagles weren't going to be able to give to him, because even the ten eleven million that we did have, is going to Derek Barnett, who again has not lived up to the first round potential that we got him for. So again, I, I think that we should just calm down. Like we should not be worrying about what the Titans are got, like are going to be doing, because unlike the because unlike the Titans. We have not been to an AFC Championship game in a couple years. They've been to an AFC Championship game. They've got a roster that is built to win now. Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry, however much he has left. That wide receiver they got, Davis. They have a pretty stout offensive line. Defense, you know, probably mid-tier, but they're built to win. And they're coached by a guy who's a very defensive-minded coach coming from the Belichick tree and, and and has also 
played in a Super Bowl as a defensive player and is touted as a very good defensive player in his day. So let's remember, context is everything. Let's not get caught up in the hype of big names. Let's not do that. We have a team that's good enough to be the 5, 6, 7 seed in our division. We're good. Let's stick with the, the division and get into the playoffs before we start thinking Super Bowl because right now, if you're honest with yourself, we don't have a Super Bowl caliber roster. Let me know what you think in the comments.